All right, what's going on, my friend? Welcome to the video. My name is Brando Linick. You're here because you're searching for how to start a residential cleaning business. It's an exciting search. I love talking about this stuff. You're looking to start a business. I can definitely help you out with it. Uh, having started a number of different types of businesses in the past and gotten around people who have done this, I decided I'd break it down into four simple steps that you have to know if you're serious. You're going to want to pay attention to this because the first step is you need to register your business. All right, you need to become a legal business. You can do this if you're in the United States by going to the Secretary of State website, printing off the forms, filling them out. Okay. If you're in Canada, you can do this by going to the government site, picking your province and your city, printing off the forms, okay, filling them out. That's all you need to do, very first thing you need to do, uh, because you need to actually become a legal business, especially if you're doing residential cleaning, uh, going into other people's homes, okay, you have to be legit to do that. So the second thing you need to do is you have to have supplies, equipment, you need to figure out what you're gonna need. Are you gonna need a vehicle, all right? A van vehicle, a work vehicle. What type of cleaning supplies are you going to need? Are you going to be doing countertops, carpets, bathrooms? What is it you're going to be cleaning? All right, garage floors. Keep all this stuff in mind. All right, and in the beginning, the best advice I would give you is to narrow it down specifically to what it is that you're going to be cleaning and offering as your service. A lot of people they get started in residential cleaning businesses, they'll offer everything, and I'm not saying that's good, bad, right, or wrong. But in the beginning, if you want to stand out above the crowd and separate yourself from what everyone else is doing, you want to make yourself an expert in a specific area first and then you can branch out from there so for example if you're just gonna be cleaning carpets then you just want to be an expert you want to be known in in your city as the expert for cleaning carpets that everyone refers their friends to okay when it comes to getting stains out of the carpet making your carpet smell good and look brand new for years all right that's what you want to be known for and then as you establish that brand that name you branch out from there and then more people and more people can you know refer your services all right so that's the second thing supplies, cleaning supplies, what you're going to need, and then narrowing down to specifically what it is that you're offering. The third thing is you actually need to have a way and means of marketing yourself, getting the word out. And you do this through an automated process. I would like to say attraction marketing processes that are automated where you're not in the mix, where you're not chasing people down. You can do this through advertising on the internet, off the internet. The idea is attracting people to you where you're not being the pitch man, where you're not pitching people on your services, all right? Because that's just it's too old school. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that you do it, okay? That door-to-door -door stuff, that you know, telemarketing, it's just not going to cut the mustard, not in today's day and age. So that's the third step, market yourself. The fourth step is actually have a way in which you're offering your services and taking bids on jobs, all right? So if someone's inquiring about your service, okay, and they're interested, take the offer, all right? Take the offer, establish that relationship with that person, especially in the beginning. A lot of people will get greedy and they'll be like, no, I'm worth this much. Well, realistically, you're worth nothing because you have no business so far. You need to establish relationships with as many people as possible, and then you can hike up your personal services and your, your, your service rates Okay, a lot higher once you have that establishment. A lot of people just hike it up right away, think they're going to get rich. It's not the case. Okay, People feel like they're being used, and they know you're a new business. All right, So that's the fourth thing. And that, in a nutshell, is really how you can start your own cleaning business. So I hope that helped. I hope that made sense. You know, my experience with this over the last year uh, was when I actually transitioned myself from a traditional brick and mortar business dealing with equipment, supplies, employees, and all of that stuff, all that overhead to an internet business. Uh, when I came across a person uh, who was using the same techniques and principles on the internet but without the overhead. <laughs> and the risk of a traditional business. And because of that, it was attractive to me. So I actually ended off putting my, my traditional business off to the side and I started to model and copy what this person was doing. And in two weeks, created a full-time income working part-time. Obviously, you know, not average, not typical results, but to share with you what's possible. So hope you got value out of the video. If in addition to this video, you wanna learn a little bit more about how I've been able to leverage the internet to create a full-time income, working very part-time, very strategically, without doing anything technical, without dealing with physical products, okay without building websites or any of this stuff if you're open-minded and uh, you know you're looking to start a business the best possible way I could share with you to create a leveraged passive income if you're interested okay and I'll put a link to my site if you are all right it's 123marketingtips.com what you'll see when you get there is a page when you fill out your information on that page you'll get access to a three-minute introductory video from myself explaining step-by-step -step how I make money how you can do this too uh, without doing anything technical like I said and then the cool part is after that what you'll see is testimonials from average ordinary people from all different walks of life making their first $500 a day, their first $1,000 a day, their very first day. Not average, not typical results again, but it's pretty cool because some of these people are business owners, some of them aren't in business, some of them have done things on the internet, others, most of them have not, okay, and they're doing this. So if you're open-minded, 
I look forward to sharing this information with you. Um, I hope you got value of the video, like I said, and I look forward to seeing you on the beach of the world this year. Take care.